Now I want to go ahead and show you how to record audio into Pro Tools. This could be anything from a vocal to a guitar part, or a synthesizer, or just about any type of recording you'd like. Here I just have a blank session pulled up with that routing template that I showed you how to create in a previous video, because we'll just be recording my voice into the session, just to keep things simple, but it could be any audio source from your audio interface. I just wanted to have a simple example here. In the next video, I'll show you more about how to edit audio, and we'll actually be showing you how to load in loops, edit, time stretch, and pitch shift those loops to create all sorts of interesting parts for your musical sequences. I just wanted to keep this audio recording video a little bit more simple, so that way we can just talk about how to set all this up so we can do this effectively. So first we want to go ahead and check the audio inputs and outputs and make sure that our recording latency is set up properly. So let's go up to the Setup tab, go down to Playback Engine, and make sure that that is set to your audio interface. So here this is set to my Scarlett 2i2, which is the audio interface is currently plugged into my computer. And we also have a low hardware buffer sample size. Whenever I'm recording, if I want to monitor the playback of my audio, so let's say I wanted to listen to my vocal as I was singing into my software, I want to go ahead and set this low so that way we don't have a latency, so we don't have any delay whenever I'm singing and then whenever I'm listening back to my audio. We'll just leave that as is and hit OK. And then under Setup, go to I.O. and make sure that you have the output set up properly and then also the input is set up to your audio interface. So I just have two inputs on this audio interface that I currently have plugged in, and right now those are selected, so just hit OK. And then now we have inputs one and two configured. Next, we need to go ahead and create a track that we're going to record our audio onto. So we can either do that with some key commands, or we can just go up to track, hit new. We want a audio track, so let's make sure that that is selected from the dropdown, set to the tick time base, and we just want to create one mono audio track. Since we just have a simple voiceover that we're recording into our software, we just want to have one channel of audio. So for example, if you had two microphones recording something like drum overheads or a stereo synthesizer with two inputs, then you want to go ahead and put this to a stereo track so you can record both of those on the same track. But in our case, we just have a single audio file, so I want to record that single audio file onto its own track, so we have that set to mono. Here's labeled something like VO, just to keep things tidy. Then we go ahead and hit Create. And then we need to go ahead and configure this so that it's accepting audio from my audio interface. Let's also make sure this is set to the mix bus, so that way the output of this track is going to the mix bus, so it's all organized inside my session. And then all I have to do here is make sure that this is set to the interface input number one. We're going to go ahead and record arm that, so now you can see that I have my voice. And if I go ahead and hit this button right here, the software will go ahead and begin to monitor the track input. In my case, this will sound a little bit strange once I hit this because you'll be hearing both my voiceover and then also the recording inside the software. But if I go ahead and hit this, then you can see that now this has been enabled and you can hear both those tracks playing back at the same time. But I'll go ahead and just turn that off so that way we don't have any weird phasing. This is more so helpful if you're working with something like a guitar and you want to go ahead and hear that guitar as you're playing it back. Then all I have to do is go ahead and record R on the track. Let's zoom in. Let's select a section for my recording. Let's go ahead and play this back. And we'll just go ahead and record a section of my audio. So this is take one of the voiceover. Then I went ahead and hit the space bar so that way it turns off my recording. Then now whenever I play that back, so this is take one of the voiceover, you can now hear that new piece of audio recorded into my session. From here we can move this around inside of my Pro Tools project or copy it or edit it depending on what we'd like to do for my song. Now what if we want to record multiple different takes of audio? There are several different options for recording multiple versions and then organizing them all together. Pro Tools has a really nice way of recording and organizing different takes for vocals or voiceovers, which can be super helpful whenever you're working on more complicated sessions. So let's say we wanted this as take one. Now let's go ahead and record a second take. So all we have to do here is go ahead and just record directly on top of this, and then it's going to remember that there's multiple different files here, and then we can go ahead and organize them from that. So Go ahead and select this point to begin our recording. I'm going to go ahead and record arm that and press play, and we're just going to have a second take. Also make sure that that is record enabled, and then we'll play that back. This is take two, and that'll be the second take. This is take two. Now if I want to swap between these two different recordings, all I have to do is select this, Go ahead and actually just turn off the record arm here, but let's go ahead and select it. And then all I have to do is select matching alternates, and you can see voiceover take two and voiceover take one. If I select this, 
Now it goes back to take one. If I go back to matching alternates and select two, it goes back to take two. You also have the option to select this, go down to matching alternates, then hit expand alternates to new playlist. And then it's going to give me all of those individual tracks all together. You can see it went ahead and just duplicated everything here based on the way it's all set up in the file structure. But these two are the first take, these two are the second take. So the cool part is now we can go ahead and solo out each of those individual recordings to monitor them. So we can solo out this one to see what it sounds like. This is take two. Or we could solo out the other ones depending on what we needed. And then if I want to go ahead and select one of these, so let's say we wanted this first one, I go ahead and hit this, go down to move to, and then go ahead and select target playlist. That's going to move it up to the top here. And now you can see that it's moved that file up to that target playlist. Now, the important thing is there's a move and copy function here. So if I go ahead and just undo that by hitting command Z or control Z, you can see that it's now put it back on this main take lane. I would recommend here to go ahead and hit copy to target playlist. That way it just creates a copy and doesn't remove it from this original section here. That just makes it a little bit more efficient whenever you're kind of moving files around. Or you can also use these icons over here. So if I have this selected, now when I add that to the track up top, you can hit copy selection to new playlist and it's gonna go ahead and move that up to here. The cool thing is I can actually combine multiple recordings together. Let's go ahead and swap this over to a slightly finer note grid here. Let's maybe take the first half of this one right here. Let's just grab the selection tool just to make life a little bit easier. Let's maybe just grab that first one. I don't wanna shorten that. I wanna go ahead and just uh, select it. So let's select that first half, go ahead and move that up to here. And then let's maybe grab the second half of this one and go ahead and move that up to here. So because that's already loaded up into this section, it didn't do anything whenever I hit that button. But now we've created this comp take that's a combination of multiple of these different audio recordings. This is really great if you have vocals and you have the first part of a verse is really nice and then, then the third take of your audio, that next section of the verse is much better. You can start to combine them together to create the best possible version of a performance. So recording takes is a little bit more advanced inside of Pro Tools, but I wanted to show off this feature because it is super powerful, especially once you start talking about working in larger recording sessions. It's really great for staying organized, especially when you're recording things like vocals. Okay, so that is all for recording audio into Pro Tools. From here, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at editing audio and importing audio loops, and taking a look at what that can do for our simple song project that we've been working on. Thanks for checking out the video. I'll see you in the next one.